I call this an essential aid for the world citizen, and it displays the general relationship between African and European civilizations, notably the big, the general African civilizations, but then the European civilization that we focus on, of course, is the UK, United Kingdom, or so-called Great Britain. The time span, 5000 BC to AD 3000. The term Sankofa is an Akan term from Ghana, West Africa, meaning there's no shame in going back to fetch it and correct it. When we have memories, we have memories that are good, memories that are bad, that are happy or not, and are sad. If they are negative, sometimes we need to go back and correct our role in that relationship that formed the bad memory. So there's no shame in going back to do this thing, not to dwell on the past, but to understand the past and to use it with special benefit for our future, for the present and the future. What can we say here? The Pharaoh of knowledge, Professor Sheikh Anta Diop, multi-genius, passed away sadly in 1986. Without him, we probably would not know as much as we do uh, the detail of uh, ancient Kemetic civilization. Dr. John G. Jackson, stalwart in the research of religion. As Dr. Jackson dedicated his book, the timeline is also dedicated to everybody with an African ancestry, the whole human race. So I'm hoping that the pertinence of the timeline will be opening doors to understanding self, understanding others, understanding that there are many people who have gone to make the world that we're in today. And if we're going to make a better world, we have to get a better level of respect. Then it says adulthood prepar adolescence preparation sorry, to 13. And that's when at 13, 12, 13, puberty and adolescence takes place. Puberty, the physical ability to reproduce self. Adolescence, the mental ability to handle those capabilities. But she used to say to me, you're half English and you're half African. No, Mom, that wasn't quite accurate, really. If you say half English, I should have been half Igbo. If I'm half British, I'm half Nigerian. But if I'm half uh, African, I must be half European. Does that, does that make sense? But do you know what I've learned most of all? Is that I'm a whole human and a very powerful one as well. To give light, to give understanding and education. I know hopefully I'll be acknowledged as a healer as well. The Blashfield Mule is a depiction of the source of knowledge which influenced the United States of America. This is in the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. in the United States. Now, the Library of Congress is the largest book depository in the world. Now, this is the Blashfield Mural. And what I'm going to do is show you the center and then go around the um, go around and show you these different characters you can see there and, and then discuss the significance of these. It says that Egypt is a source of written records. It says that Judea is a source of religion. It says that Greece, the source of philosophy. Italy gave us fine arts. And he says, remember, Egyptology is mainly the product of European scholarship during the colonialist and slavery period. So a lot of these times, they're not going to be portraying, if they're making African slaves in the Caribbean and in the Americas, if, they, if they're taking over Africa, they're not going to be portraying those Africans as being powerful originators of civilization and science and all the other arts. They're not going to do that. Timeline. It provides the viewer or student with a solid framing tool for the study of history, fully supporting the key skills highlighted in Key Stage 3 and 4 of the National Curriculum, which are chronological understanding, knowledge and understanding of events, people and changes in the past, historical interpretation, historical inquiry, and organization and communication. So watch this. See the following examples. Research in African history is more tedious, laborious, and time-consuming than is true in other suppressed fields. For in developing the undeveloped history of the blacks, one has to explore the most unlikely sources for a fragment here and a fragment there. The ghetto, the quarter of a city chiefly knitted to which the Jews were restricted, the key word restricted. This is a man called Niccolo Machiavelli, and he said, divide and rule, divide and conquer. Where are the true ghettos in the world today? right there in the mentality, right there in the mentality and the way we think. So I went to him, I said, I disagree with that. And he said, what do you think it is? I said, well, I think a more important word, word in the world is belief. That's what I said. He said, that's interesting. Because if you don't believe in love, how can you be loved or lovable? 
How can you find that potential that Jesus talks about to love your neighbor as you love yourself? And that's all of yourself, your mind, your body.